What is up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome to the studio. This is Ryder and we have a super exciting video for you guys today. We are getting solar panels put on our house to power the studio. That's right. We are going to be from here on out solar fired pottery at the JTP studios. So we've had this idea for over a year now. Last year when we did the Kickstarter to build the studio, we wanted to do it then, but the project just kept getting more expensive and more expensive and we weren't able to do the panels then, uh, but we're doing them now. And so today is the day that they're going up. It's gonna be awesome, right? right. All right, we're gonna take you guys along with, let's do it. So here are the solar panels right here, right? And they're going up on our house. So they're going up on this roof and on this roof up here. So then we're gonna trench down there over to the studio. It's gonna be awesome. Hey Ryder, are you watching? So I'm here with Jay, who's helping out with our solar system that we just got put up on the roof today. So Jay has a YouTube channel. Yep, the turbine guy. The turbine guy. So Jay just put up all these solar panels with the help of his crew. And Jay, will you just tell us a little bit about like this system and how it works? Sure. Well, what we have up here are 28 Canadian solar 325 watt modules mounted on Iron Ridge racking. That equals a 9.1 kilowatt system overall, meaning at full power, you could be putting out nine kilowatts of power or so all at once. Okay. You think that it was about 12,000 kilowatts that this would produce in a year? 12 to 14,000 kilowatt hours okay. it's going to produce yep. over the course of a year. And so the studio, since we've had it built over the last 18 months, has used about 14,000. So this would pretty much be able to offset all the studio for the more than what we've used in a year. So that's what I'm really excited about, power those kilns. Uh, and have solar fired pottery. It's gonna be super cool. Renewable pottery. Yeah, right. Pottery in nature isn't a super sustainable thing just because you're mining all the uh, chemicals that you use and then you're firing with electricity, but this way we can really make it a sustainable effort. So I'm super excited about that. Well, who wouldn't be? All my clients are just, just like you. Yeah. Always excited, excited, and then it's up and let's go, flip yeah, the yeah. switch, right? Right, right know, now. Yeah. So now we're just waiting to get it, get it ready to go uh, and it'll be good, so. Yep, we gotta go through our inspections, make sure everything's complete and proper, and then go through a, a final inspection with Excel Energy, then we can fire it up. Perfect. All right, thanks Jay. No problem. With client of mine, John the Potter here. How you doing? And we're just celebrating getting through the building and electric inspections for this system. All right, what's up guys? So it is like a month and a half later because it turns out when you're doing a solar project like this, where you're tied into the grid, the electric companies, they take a long time to come out and kind of get everything. So we had to get the approvals, the inspections done, then XL Energy is the one, XL Energy is our power company. So they had to come out and install the meter and it just ended up taking a really long time. So it's December now, but we finally are producing solar power. So you can see it's pretty cloudy today, which means we're not producing a ton, but check it out. So exciting! So yesterday was a sunny day. We produced like 12 kilowatt hours throughout the day. So I'm still trying to like grasp like exactly how much that is. And I know right now, like the days are really short and the sun stays pretty low in the sky all day. But in the summertime, we'll create way more. And in the winter, it creates a little less, but either way. So yeah, this is it. 
All right, guys. So this is this has been a dream of mine for a long time to have solar fired pottery. It's been something that I wanted to do ever since we did the Kickstarter to build the studio to offset the electric kiln. So it's really cool to actually be here. Um, shout out to Jay. Go check out Jay's YouTube channel, The Turbine Guy. Uh, give him a shout out if you need. I know he travels around doing solar projects. So if you guys want an inquiry on what it would cost and how much you can produce and all that kind of stuff. Because our roof line worked really well for solar. So everybody has a different like scenario for their how they're situated and if the sun works. So uh, it's pretty cool. It's been a really interesting, fun project. I think we're gonna actually think about doing it at Mocha Monkey at the coffee shop. We have a really nice roof line there so we can offset some of our energy usage there. It's gonna be fun to see throughout the whole year like how much we end up producing. Uh, you know, it can produce up to nine kilowatt hours per hour at like the maximum. And I think that our average usage is about 20 to 30 kilowatts per day. Um, but then you get days that are cloudy and you're not producing as much. So. Um, we should be able to offset most of our entire power throughout the year, but it's going to be fun to actually see. So I can monitor the whole thing on the app. Oh, but we produced about 11 kilowatt hours um, for the whole day, which it was a little bit of a cloudy day and the sun is really low because the days are short right now. But so anyway, can track that and then I can track how much we are using in the studio too, which once I start running all the kilns again, um, then that'll be super interesting. So if you guys have any other questions or comments about this solar, please leave them in the comments. As always, hit that subscribe, like, share, all the things. We'll see you guys in the next video. Go out and save the world.